What's up guys, Caleb the Video Maker 2 up in the house. This video we're going to be talking about typecasting. So in the previous video I mentioned how C was a strongly typed language. The reason I taught you all of that was primarily so you would understand the content in this video. So we need to imagine the C programming language as an old grumpy man. You owe this man a dollar. So you go up to him and you're like, hey man, I finally got your money. Here you go, here's four quarters. And four quarters are going to add up to be one dollar. But the problem is, you didn't borrow four quarters from this old man, you borrowed a dollar bill. So he was expecting a dollar bill. And this, my friend, is unacceptable. So he beats you over your head with his cane and says, Yo, bro, give me my money, even though you gave him the correct amount of money. You're probably wondering what this has to do with anything, but it'll start to make sense in just a minute. <laughs> Essentially, he wanted one dollar, but you gave him one dollar. And it seems like the same thing, but if you think about it, the data types behind these numbers are different. This is considered an integer, and this over here is considered a double. So to fix this problem, you can go over to the bank and exchange your quarters for a dollar. So you hand your quarters in, and out comes a dollar. Now that you've got an actual dollar bill, you can go back, give it to the old man, and he's happy. In computer science terms, you could say that your dollar was typecasted to a dollar, and this one being of a double data type to an integer data type. You probably could have gone without the story, but the moral of the story is that C is very picky when it comes to data types, so we often need to typecast things. There are two main categories of typecasting, implicit and explicit. When it comes to implicit typecasting, this is something that can happen automatically. We don't have to tell the computer to do anything, and you can think of the result as being lossless. So when I say lossless, essentially what I'm saying is you could typecast an integer of one to a double of 1.00, and you can see you didn't lose any data at all. You're essentially storing the same exact thing, just in a different data type. The other type of typecasting is explicit, and what that means is you have to tell the computer to do it. You explicitly say, yo bro, I want you to typecast this. And you can think of this as lossy, I think is the word. You can imagine starting with a double of 1.85, for example, and typecasting that to an integer of just one. And you can see you've actually lost some data. That's why it's explicit. You have to tell the computer. The computer doesn't just assume what you want to delete and all of that. You have to be very specific and say, hey, I wanted to typecast this value to an integer. It doesn't happen automatically. A great example of implicit typecasting is if you do something like this. You can see in this situation, we are assigning an int to a double. So it's automatically going to get stored as 1.0. I'm sure you really want an example of an explicit type conversion too. So an example of that is if you have a value such as 3.5, wrong side. <laughs> and before that, in parentheses, you put the data type you want to convert it to. And this is going to convert this value to three. We had to specifically say, hey, we want to convert this. <laughs> The next video is going to go over examples of this concept and also go over some problems you're probably going to encounter and how to avoid those problems. So thanks guys. Please be sure to subscribe to support this channel and if you enjoy this content, please be sure to subscribe to support this channel. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. All right, bye.